on earth, and 10 years ago I had to quit, and I was keep thinking I can do it again, but I've learned I can't. So my knees are, are bad. Mm -hmm. So your strength training is... That would rebalance you. Yeah. Is that going to hurt my knees? No, nope. no. It's it's going to help your knees. Okay. You know, that's what it's it's about, to help your knees. And yes, you know, we, we sometimes do get overuse injuries, but running... It's one of the, if you think about what you do when you run, you do this, hop, hop, hop. Now, if I told you right now, Marcy, stand up and do that a thousand times, you would look at me like I was absolutely crazy, and yet that's what you do every time you go out for a run. It is the most repetitive, um, isolated movement that we do, because you don't, you hardly change anything about it. You just go from here to here to here to here. That's why I did it. I didn't even think about it. Why? Well, I know, I know. <laughs> I just did it. Stress relief. But we did it. We did it. And, you know, and there's a place for that. There's stress relief. There's getting outside and running and feeling good and just having that endorphin. And I'm not saying that there isn't a place for that in a program, but the priority should be on now strengthening your legs and strengthening your knees so that you feel like you can go out and you know, be on the family's farm and be out there farming and doing the things that you want to be able to do. You want to go out for a walk, you want to go out for a walk. I'm not saying that cardio is bad. I'm just saying that on the scale, you want strength, you want cardio intent, and then you want the cardio at the very bottom. And then you don't want to re-injure your knees. You don't want to re-injure your knees, no. No. What do you think about interval training? That's cardio intense. So mm -hmm. that's when you're using slightly lighter weights. You're getting your heart rate really high, but you're not doing the same movement over, mm -hmm. over and over again. What you're doing is you're getting a great metabolic effect, but you're not actually laying down any muscle. And when we, when we lay down muscle, when we increase our muscle mass, our metabolism goes up because you know we're burning more calories. The more muscular you are, then the higher your metabolism. So cardio interval training is great, gets your heart rate up, but you're not actually going to put on any muscle. Strength training is the thing that does that. Can you do a full strength training workout without any weights? You can do things like squats. Mm -hmm. Push-ups, you can use your body as a weight, mm -hmm. but you've got to do it properly. I mean, you know, when you do a squat, it can't just be a, like this. It's got to be a, you know, a good squat, nice and slow. Push-ups, you know, there are certain things, triceps, mm -hmm. the dips that we do, um, step-ups. You know, you can just find a step anywhere and you're doing a step-up using your body weight and doing it slowly so you elicit a response. Mm -hmm. But most women need weights. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're at work and you just need, you haven't got dumbbells there and you're not wearing a you know, weight vest or anything, it's better to do something than to do nothing. But, you know, ultimately, you need to add something to give yourself that resistance. Mm -hmm. so. Anything else? How are we for time? I don't know. Okay, we're going to We've got 15 minutes. We're going to do the warm-up. Next week.